expedition came upon Cheryl by the river's edge. Jason. And accidentally tipped the boat and panicked and drowned. Sorry, Cheryl, bombshell. My specialty's ice. Of his bloated, waterlogged body. Not until Cheryl, you tell get me. Get the hell out of my house before I kill you. We don't need to do this in front of your classmates, sure. It's all right, Principal Weatherby. I'll find out soon enough. No, that won't be necessary. Wait, Cheryl? Find out what? That I'm guilty. Guilt. Innocence. Good. Evil. Life. Death. As the shadows around Riverdale deepened, I'm guilty, Cheryl said in biology class. But of what? To clarify, I didn't mean I was guilty of killing Jason. I loved him more than I do myself. We said goodbye on the Greendale side of Sweetwater River. He promised he'd call me as soon as he was in a place where he couldn't be reached or pulled back by our parents. One month at the most. Every day I waited for him to call. For an email. Jason wasn't cruel. So maybe this is all just a web of lies you're spinning to cover your own tracks. I didn't kill Jason! I was upset. My brother was murdered. So upset that you, you sang and danced at a pep rally yesterday. What the hell is going on here? Mommy. Don't say another word, Cheryl. Get up. Why didn't you call us? Because she's a liar, Penelope. When we get home, you're telling us everything. Maybe I don't know Jason. Whoever killed Jason hurt him. If he hurt Polly, I'm sorry. Cheryl? Honey, I got this. Cheryl, I went to school with your mother. She didn't know the difference between having money and having class, either. I told you, Cheryl. No more sleeping in Jason's bed. I, I was working on the eulogy for JJ. Don't bother. You won't be speaking at his memorial. God knows what you'd say. Something to humiliate us. No. Cheryl, you're allowed to say goodbye to your brother, but why does it have to in be in front of people? Yeah. I 
want everyone to know that I'm... I'm sorry. And that Jason deserved a... a better family than what he got. You ready? Just about. You go ahead, I'll be down. Even though we were twins, I used to demand I have my own birthday party. Until one year, out of the blue, Jason convinced me we had to combine them into one. It wasn't until years later I found out why. It was because no one wanted to come to mine. And Jason didn't want me to know. He protected me. Every single day. I wish that day at the river had protected him. JJ, we failed you. All of us. <laughs> I had to, but Jason would have wanted. No, Cheryl, as always, it's what you wanted. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Because after tonight, there'll be no more river fixings. And if not for the fact that no one would have you. I'd be shipping you off to a boarding school in Europe tonight. Let alone the father of her unborn child. I'm so sorry about Jason. I know how much you loved him. He always talked about how much he loved you. You have to leave. Now. My parents, I don't think they want to help you. What? what are you talking about? They want you out of the picture, Polly. It's not safe for you with them. It's not safe for JJ's baby. House of yours. She should be so lucky. Cheryl, that's not helping. Cheryl, I'm so done with this. Seat. No, I'm not done. Now. I'm done. Cheryl. You okay? Jason was the golden boy. But me. People hate me, Archie. And at school, that's fine, whatever. But this is my family. Forget them, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cheryl. I can't do this anymore. Goodbye. A storm of chaos named Cheryl Blossom. Yes? All those for Cheryl? All those? You catatonic bimbos didn't even vote. So you stuttering sapheads are too dim to exercise your own rights, and you've got the combined vocabulary of a baked potato. Consider this your last practice as River Vixens and your last week as my social handmaidens. You're fired on all fronts. That's all. Shoo, bitches. Shot, give for me. Kind hearts don't grab any glory. Everybody live for the music. Go around, la la la. He killed my Jason. I want a death for what he did. Yeah, my word.
I barely touched him. And hugging me and telling me that I must be so relieved that my brother's killer has finally been caught. This nightmare is over. Then why doesn't it feel that way? I think something happened, Mommy. Whatever do you mean? If Daddy wasn't mad at Jason about Polly, it must have been about the business. I don't know if he heard something he shouldn't have or he saw something he didn't like. You don't know what you're saying. What was JJ running away from? The business? Daddy? You? Ow! You think your father killed your brother? You think I did? You think we murdered him and threw him in the river because Jason knew some deep, dark, horrible secret about our business? There it is! There's the sticky, dark, dirty truth. Maple syrup. Drown in it, why don't you? I understand. Thank you. Instead, he was buried like a pauper. Why are you crying, you hate it? Oh, don't say that, Mommy. We've always been cursed, ever since the original murder when brother killed brother. Who will the Grim Reaper take next, you? Me? If you personally need anything, I'm fine. I've shed my tears for the Blossom Men. Thanks for trying. I'm going to be with Jason now. Over there! Oh my god! She's over there! Cheryl! 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 Cheryl, stop! Cheryl, please! Just come to the shore and we'll figure this out together, okay? No! Cheryl! What are you doing here? She got in an accident. I'll just warm up and go home. <laughs> 